10 News at 5 continues. While the Louisiana Purchase Gardens and Zoo might be closed to the public, zoo officials say the animals are enjoying life as they always would. NBC 10's Maya Hudgens back from being behind the scenes and has some fun educational information for kids at home to watch. Maya, what's the life of a zoo animal despite not having anybody watching them? Bodie and Michelle, zoo officials say they are staying fully staffed and very busy as each animal has its own routine that hasn't changed. And although the coronavirus has stopped regular attendance, we thought we'd bring the zoo to you. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my, animals at the zoo are still getting by. The animals are in a routine and we need to try and maintain that routine. The only thing is, is it's sort of like we're putting on a play and now there's nobody in the audience. While the zoo doesn't have a lion named Simba, meet Rocco and Sophia. Their regular routine includes doing sensory enrichment. This is where zookeepers set up situations where the lions do something different every day that encourages natural behaviors and instincts. There were boxes with with uh, camel hair in it. We harvested hair from our camel and put them in the boxes. And then they put in bamboo, which is something new on its own, but then they also put scent on the bamboo. Enrichment can be an experiment, as the lions are particular with what they like. Especially the male lion, he really liked the way that bamboo smelled. And the female lion, the lioness, um, really thought those boxes were cool. Across the zoo, the reptiles know when it's feeding time. The Burmese python and diamondback rattlesnake enjoyed their lunch of a rat. Before biting into their prey, snakes check to make sure the rat is dead. Those rats are bigger than their heads. Their jaw actually unhinges and stretches. And then they have teeth pointing backwards. And then they use muscle spasms to push the prey um, down into their stomach and digest the prey. This Burmese python is over 13 feet long and weighs somewhere around 150 pounds. Zoo director Joe Clawson says he misses all the zoo's visitors, but says not to worry about the animals as they're being taken care of and following their routines. Joe Clawson says they are not worried about animals getting the coronavirus as there hasn't been any signs of this danger. You can tune back in next Friday as I'll be going behind the scenes at the zoo again to bring those kids at home some fun during this pandemic. In the studio, Maya Hudgens, NBC10, your local news leader.